This is uh, PowerShell Tutorial 10. Here is an alternative way to create your PowerShell profile. You need to be administrator and you need to have something else than restricted as your default execution policy. Changing the execution policy from restricted to remote signed we did in Tutorial 8 and how to create a PowerShell profile from scratch we did in Tutorial 9. We will cover the new commandlets and parameters in more detail later on. Right now it's just important that we get you up and running. So this is just an alternative way compared to Tutorial 9 and not as detailed. I'm not using a script today so just bear with me. Test path profile is what you want to type. Test dash path dollar sign profile enter it says false if it had said uh, true then you would have already had a uh, PowerShell profile when it says false it means you don't have one dollar sign profile this is where your PowerShell profile should be Right now this is an empty string or a path to something that really doesn't exist yet. And we'll check that out now when we go in on documents. We can do this in just one line but we are going to take it step by step. cd change directory c colon backslash gets you back to the c. We want users, cd users, and we want Gota. Replace that with your own name, cd Gota, and we want documents, cd documents. Here you can see there is no Windows PowerShell here as a folder, which means we are going to create one. In tutorial 9 we looked at the, the graphical user interface and we are not going to do that now so just uh, clear out of it. What we want now is help on a commandlet called new item and we want the examples help new dash item dash examples and we want example 3 here. This command creates a Windows PowerShell profile in the path and this is what we want to type and you can read all about it. So let's uh, type that in at the command line new dash item dash path dollar sign profile dash item type file dash force and enter and we should now have our profile just clear out we didn't have to clear out it's uh, just an old habit but uh, type in dir did and you can see now that we have a Windows PowerShell folder here. Now you can clear out. We might as well try our test path again. Test dash path dollar sign profile and you see it says true here. Let's uh, open up the profile notepad dollar sign profile as you can see it's just uh, a blank notepad now this is explained much better in tutorial 9 but when you are an administrator you can also see that by the end of 
your path here being system 32 right now it's documents because that's where we are but if you close your uh, PowerShell and you open it again it's gonna say system 32 we want to change that in our uh, PowerShell profile just to see that it actually works so we are going to set location C colon backslash so when we open PowerShell again this is where it's going to be at C colon instead of system 32 and sooner or later you will probably make a, a folder for scripts that you make in PowerShell and then you might as well want to uh, put that as a set location file save and then let's uh, close out of uh, the profile and close out of uh, the PowerShell window and uh, let's go in on uh, PowerShell again and run as administrator and you see here that it's pointing to just C and not system 32 which means it works one of the reasons why I prefer uh, making it from scratch like uh, tutorial 9 shows you is that when we use the command with a dash force it means it's gonna make the profile but it's also going to overwrite a profile if it had existed from before okay that's it for now and good luck